Hello, my name is Doug Tembrock with QMS Inc. We are going to take a look in this video at QInfo Record Processing. We're going to take a first look at it and for several weeks we're going to be diving down into the details but we're going to get a kick it off with this overview video. What I want to look at first here is that we're going to be also attaching this diagram here that shows the process flow of the QInfo record and obviously it's pretty small right now so I'm going to make it bigger and what you would want to do is take a walk through this process it's also whenever we talk about QInfo record we're also talking about QM and procurement the flags that are on the material master that down at the bottom of the QM view, the QM and procurement flag, if you have that turned on along with the control key, depending on how much of the control key is turned on in configuration, the settings will determine if some of this functionality here in this process flow is all, are also turned on. Um, what you want to do though is walk down through this process flow and determine if some of these processes are what you do today. They're part of your standard operating procedure. For instance, determining if there is a release check. And that release is a quality information release. It's a release of the vendor material combination by quality using the QInfo record release. So just walk through this diagram which we will be attaching to see if some of this functionality such as certificate check on the inbound and whether you're going to inspect and in the case of on the quality information record with the material vendor combination you'll be able to see that for your certified vendors you'd be able to override the inspection for just those vendors but the other ones have to come through inspection and then determining whether you have a first article or a PPAP inspection or not but the QInfo record is in the area here on, in the material or in the uh, SAP menu path you go logistics quality management quality planning logistics master data then you have this section here called quality information record and procurement and these four transactions right here I find are being underused. This functionality, and I'll go in and just take a quick look here today, but you'll see through the next three weeks of our um, social media postings on our Facebook and LinkedIn and uh, Twitter accounts and also on the uh, YouTube in our blog on the web page we will be post, uh, placing postings in, in regards to this conversation but this QI01 here where we create a info record and I'm going to create one for this material this is a quality info record this transaction only quality owns purchasing does not own this transaction quality does and if there is a new material vendor combination we have the settings on turned on for QM and procurement uh, vendor release this record will have to be in place before they can purchase and when I hit enter here there you can see there's multiple tabs in this material vendor combination record there is a lot of power in this particular one, I'm, sh I'm showing the release date. I might release this material vendor combination until 2099, or I might release it through the end of the year because I'm going to do a um, check at the end of the year recertifying my vendors. But there's also a quantity release here for only allowing a certain quantity for the first purchase. And there's a lot of functionality within these tabs that we'll be covering over in the next three more weeks after this initial kickoff of the QM Info Record Week. So you have this create screen, the change, display, and then the collective entry or the more of the mass processing 
being able to come in here and take a look at what open I'm going to do a display to show you what that would look like what open info records or uh, quality info records that need to be released are out there and so there's been in this particular case there's been a new material vendor combination here that potentially I'm, sh I'm showing them all so some of these have already been released but if we were looking at the ones we're trying to release in the create screen you would highlight this material vendor combination and can uh, use this screen here to also release material vendor combination but the only time you would release that material vendor combination and and that's only one time when there's a new material vendor is when you um, have already done all your historical checking defect track checking and the different information to ensure that they you can safely safely release this material vendor combination so for now we're gonna that's as far as we're gonna go but check back in the uh, next several weeks next three weeks that is and to see how we will dive down into the detail of each of the main pieces inside the Q info record. Thank you.